Good morning to you, friend. Welcome back to the Morning Minute Meditation. Glad you dropped by today. I want to ask you a question. I think this is a, an important question. How do you survive the attack of a python? Now, the Peace Corpsmen who are going into Central and South America are given an operations manual. In the operations manual, it gives them an idea of what to do if they are under the attack of a, of a python. If you don't mind, I'd like to read from the manual. It, it says, remember not to run away. The python can travel faster than you. The thing to do is to lie flat on the ground on your back with your feet together. Arms at your side, head well down. The python will then try to push his head under you, experimenting at every possible point. Keep calm. That's the key. Keep calm. You must let him swallow your feet. It is quite painless, and it will take quite a long period of time. If you lose your head and struggle, he will quickly whip his coils around you and squeeze you to death. If you keep calm and still, he will go on swallowing, wait patiently, until he has swallowed up to your knees. Then carefully take your knife, insert it into the disconnected jaw, and quickly rip open his body with your knife. That is how to survive a python attack. No, the way to survive a python attack is don't be where pythons are going to be. That's how to survive a python attack. Now, that reminds me of humanity. The Apostle Paul in his writings four times told the believers to flee. Two of those times was directly to the church at Corinth who had issues of their own. Two of those times was to his son Timothy in the faith. Here's what Paul said. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter number 6 and verse 18, flee fornication. You don't stay there until it nearly swallows you up. You get away from it before it ever has the opportunity to sink its hooks in you. In 1 Corinthians 10, 14, he said, flee idolatry. Get away from idolatry. Once idolatry has made a beach head in your life, there's rarely anyone that recovers. When he gets to Timothy in 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 11, he says this, he said, but thou, O man of God, flee these things and follow after righteousness. What things was he telling him to flee? In the previous verses, he said that the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some have coveted after they pierce themselves through with many sorrows. In other words, flee from covetousness. Flee from this business of allowing money to get its grip on your life. I've seen a lot of people lose all of their potential spiritually because the money bug bit them. The final thing is found in 2 Timothy 2 and 22 when the Apostle Paul said very simply this, very much akin to what he said to the Corinthian church. He said, flee youthful lust. It's amazing you don't have to be youthful to have youthful lust. Listen, there is one way that you can uh, escape, survive a python attack. And that is stay away. There is only one way, really, to survive the carnality of our own sin nature, and that is to run from it. Hey, think on these things today, friend, and don't you get swallowed by no python. I'll never forgive you if you do. Have a great day.